Good morning, everybody. Um, it's great to be here and uh, talk about this. This is, uh, you know, the Space Technology Mission Directorate is only a, less than 5% of NASA's total budget. Human Exploration, Mission Directorate, Science are the big pieces. But we're about trying to get the technologies together for the next generation of missions to places like sending humans to Mars. This is a great example of the types of things that we're doing. So for example, imagine that you are an astronaut either on the ground at Mars or in orbit at Mars. Um, you, and you wanted to be able to do some logistics, set up an antenna so that you can communicate back to Earth. Now, some might ask, well, why can't you just do that from Earth and, you know, telerobotically operate that Mars rover from Earth? The problem is it takes eight minutes for a signal from Earth to reach Mars. So if you want to have an interactive display, you want to think about, for example, you know, a game where you're playing an interactive game, you make a move and you have to wait eight minutes for that move to actually occur at Mars and eight minutes to get back to actually show that it's actually been executed. So we have to have things like this to operate in locale at Mars in order to be able to do a mission like this. So it's an example of the types of things that we have to do. There's many different technologies that we invest in in the Technology Mission Directorate, um, and this is a great example of the types of things uh, that we do. It's advancing the cause so that the next generation of missions uh, will actually be able to execute them and, and not just rely on everything having to be done by a person going out and getting in an astronaut suit and going out to uh, onto the surface just to set up an antenna. The greater, the, to the greatest extent possible, we want robots to work in conjunction with people in order to be able to make those missions happen. So I'm not going to say much more. I just wanted to give everybody a warm welcome to coming out here and seeing what uh, technology can bring to the future. Um, Lou was very much correct that everything we do within a NASA Technology Mission Directorate is also looks towards cross-cutting um, capabilities. And by that, we mean that it's not just for an application such as a Mars mission. It's also for allowing these same technologies to get infused into everyday work uh, on the planet, uh, in medical research, and in many other applications. These same technologies, for example, that are being demonstrated here would have been fantastic to have had at the Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster, where you want to be able to telerobotically operate a robot that goes into a disaster area and do that. We haven't gotten to the point where we could do that regularly and easily today. Robots have to be advanced, and the technologies to operate those robots have to be advanced. That's what all uh, we're about in the technology mission. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much.